Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Monday. Hope everybody had a great weekend. It is pouring here in New York. I don't know where you are, neck of the woods, but it looks kind of ugly out there. Good to see you, Bonnie, Grant, Donna. Good to see you all. Welcome back on this lovely Monday on the December 9th. Well, we closed out last week. I think we had a pretty good, good December. Hopefully, everyone went out there and spent a little money over the weekend, bought some nice holiday gifts and you ready. But uh, now it's back to going back to work. Uh, you know, it looks like there's a few things that are moving this morning. Obviously, you could see the PCG is doing pretty well again for us. Uh, listen, it became more of a day trade, and then it became all of a sudden become a swing trade. So we're going to talk about that. A couple of nice little stocks that we traded last week, and also there's a couple of big buyouts, weekend buyouts. Uh, you can see some of them are up like Thor, up 170%. We'll talk a little bit about that. Before we do, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's get talk about what happened last week and tell everybody what they missed because... Today we have a, a whole new group of new traders that have joined us and don't know if trading is for them or not. You know, they want to become day traders. They want to think they know how to swing trade. They maybe they, they haven't done good in options. Well, now they want to know if this is what it's all about. So let's uh, kind of let's kind of give a little little update. Let them know what they traded last week, and then we'll send them to understand what to expect this week. First, let's start off with the Y E. Um, I'm sorry, Y E. Y E X T. Now, um, just bring the times clock on that one from last week. Let me just fix this a little bit here. All right, so that one uh, last week was one of the really, really good bottom fishes, probably the best one um, that we've traded in a while because it had great Fausto flags, had everything. You can see here right here at the gate at 930, uh, right about here, the stock literally bounced and went from 1260 all the way up to about 1440, oh, in about, about 30 minutes, okay? And uh, and then it was kind of flatlined all day, but that stock was a $17 stock, opened up down to 12, got really pretty destroyed. But um, obviously, you know, being a bottom fish, we always love it. And just like Sage, Sage is another one. Uh, Sage is that stock that went from 150 down to $55. People got destroyed, crushed. I don't even know what more to say. You know what? You want to go trade a hundred dollar stock because it's a hundred dollars and think, oh, you know, must be a real company and that's why it's there. Yeah, let me know how that's working out for you. But let me tell you, we killed it last week on this stock right here in Sage S A G E um, or SAG, however you want to spell it. <laughs> but um, but what a great little bounce on Friday on Friday again. But we did good on the day before when it gapped down pretty big. Very fast moving stock though. It wasn't a nice, easy, comfortable stock. You couldn't trade a lot of shares of it. Stock had some really, really nasty swings on it. Another stock that was doing pretty well is Big. Uh, Big had a nice little move. You can see it went from 23 all the way to 26. Had a nice little move all day. Once again, did its nice little 10.30, uh, 9.30 to 10 o'clock move. It was pretty much done after that. Had a nice push going into the close. That was okay. UPH is the last but not least. Moved back up, up a little bit. Uh, you can see a stock we was gapped up from 8 to 16. Did pretty well. Kind of came back down a little bit, but... That also uh, was a pretty decent stock. Now, uh, now that's in the archives. It's over. It's done. Now it's time to go out there and talk about what is moving this morning. Uh, now, listen, it is Monday. We all know about Monday. Uh, not a lot going on. A lot of, I mean, other than a lot of big weekend buyouts. So there's always not a huge list. There's a pretty decent list. We know Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays are the best days to be here in a cyber group room when we day trade. But, uh, but there are some things that we want to keep a focus on. Let's start off with the X bit. Now, X bit right here, you can see it just looking here at level four and just kind of looking over as in the orders go. There is a, um, I see close to about 15,000 looking sh shares looking to be sold right about 27. Okay. So that's right around here. And you see, it's starting to trend down a little bit. It's not really doing too well. There's a 9,000 share buyer and a 10,000 share buyer. Actually, 10,000 share buyer has been out there since about 8 o'clock this morning at 2240. So we're getting close to that support levels. I, I mean, I really don't see buyers and sellers till 2330 uh, and the resistance at 27. You can see it basically stock is extremely volatile. It's got a big spread. I mean, it's up big. But on the other aspect of it, you got to be careful on trading it. Uh, you got to be a little bit of an advanced trader to trade the stock. If you are new to Cybertree University, stay far, far away from it. Okay, let's talk about Fate. Now, Fate has a uh, little bit of a decent sellers. I see old sellers right now hovering right around ooh, 1856 to 50, uh, 1844. 
It's kind of like hitting that resistance levels right there. I want to see these sellers getting done. I'm seeing this on level three. Uh, on level four, I see they've been out there since eight o'clock this morning. So um, the stock a little bit, it's not up as big as of 100%, but is up 32%. This one, uh, let's see if these orders get done. You can see it, those stocks that we're looking at. Uh, oh, by the way, like the Thor trade guys, listen, stay away from these stocks. These are buyouts. I mean, they've been great over, great to, you know, listen, where there's smoke, there's fire. You know we've been trading Thor. It was a stock that we've done really well. Uh, you can look here in the last couple of days. It went from 18 up to 21, from 22 to 26. And then sure enough, look where it is. It's at 67. So listen, I say this all the time. You want to be a good swing trader. You want to be able to you know, position yourself and know how to find you know, and be in the right place at the right time. You got to damn, damn well, you better know how to day trade first because that's how you know where to get in and where to get out. You got to do your time. And uh, hopefully this is a good example and a good witness of it, uh, because if you if you were a good if you were to consider swing trading it and you knew a little bit about it, congratulations, you did phenomenal. And I'm just so happy for Thor. I love companies that get bought out. I just feel happy and excited for corporate America. You know that just shows you you know you know capitalism at its best, where people really really prosper and the shareholders and the employees they're doing phenomenal. Good for them. Okay. That's what I guess that's why why we do this, right? PCG, another stock that's moving pretty nicely right here. We've done great on the day trade. It, um, it's been a little bit better of a swing trade, I would say. You know, it's testing resistance levels back here in September. You can see how that stock took a hit. I mean, I think the news on it is that they settled uh, on that their case. You know, they, they basically did a, uh, you know, they kind of did like a an agreement on paying back the old though the forest fires or whatever it is. But that one's doing pretty well. But once again, guys, buy on rumors, sell on news. One that's a little bit on the cheapy side. It's a little bit better, I think. AR. AR is look pretty nice. You can see it's got a nice little trend up there. Uh, there's a 30. There's a bit of seller out there. It's been out there since um, 7 o'clock this morning. It's got to break this 250 price range. I can see there's about a 36,000 share seller out there. And you're not seeing him here on level 3, but I'm seeing him here on level 4. But if it breaks that, the stock can go, move up pretty nicely. It's got good resistance levels, good spread, you know, nice little volume in pre-market. This one looks pretty good for a lot of, you know, a lot of beginner traders. All right. So once again, not a lot, you know, um, in, on a on typical Monday, but that's Mondays for you, you know. But we always find some new things that do open up uh, once the market opens up. But at least we got something to work on. Oh, there he is. There's the guy, 36,000. You see him right there for 246, 48 right there. That's why it's having a tough time breaking it. Let's see if that guy gets done. That's where it's hovering right now. Here he is right there. Edge right there, 36. All right, guys, anything I missed I did not call out? Anything I missed? I think that's about it, right? All right, so listen, if you're new to Cybertrain University, if it's your first day on, on the uh, in our room, please listen to me carefully. This is not a teaching room, okay? This is a trading room. We just trade. If you like and see what the traders are doing and how they're making money and you want to know how they think for themselves and how they're able to work with each other, make sure you talk to Education Advisor. Hopefully he did your walkthrough. He walked through in great detail explaining what to expect because I always say this to everyone. Trading is the greatest job in the world, but it's not for everybody, and that is okay. You're better off learning here first before you actually go out there and put real money into it uh, because uh, it kind of sucks to lose a lot of money in trading. And it's not even the money, it's your time being wasted. All right, guys, so find out if it's for you or not. So welcome to the original uh, day trading room. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And we will start audio commentating in the next 15 minutes, all right? Good luck, everyone. See you back at 2.30. Oh, almost forgot. <laughs> Classes today. All right, so students, guys, phase one and phase two, phase two are, are starting this week. So almost forgot about that. Josh just came and told me. You guys don't forget, if you're a student, if you're a gold, platinum student, diamond, remember, classes start today. You don't want to miss it. All right, guys? All right, everyone. Good luck again. Sorry about that. Happy trading.